Hey Taurus, how you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general tarot reading for the end of March. We're going to take a look and see what could be coming in for you guys pertaining to love, romance, and partnership. If you guys enjoy this reading, Taurus, do let me know. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings, okay? So Taurus, um, of course, if you want a personalized tarot reading from me, you can certainly request one at any time. You can go to my website. You can also go to my Etsy shop where I have my readings, my decks, my spiritual jewelry. Taurus, your bonus extended is up on Vimeo if you want to check that out. All right, so Taurus, clear, concise, accurate messages for my Taurus out there. What are they going through? What's happening? What's coming in for you guys? Clear, concise, accurate messages for Taurus. All right, so the one card challenge is the death card. So Taurus, big, big changes could be happening with respect to your love life, right? The death is indicating of change, transformation, maybe something ending and it may have taken you by surprise. Maybe it happened very abruptly, but it's bringing forth some kind of new level of understanding or awareness, right? And it feels like this transformation could be happening on the individual level, on a spiritual level, emotional level, right? We're going to find out what that's about. Maybe you are dealing with a Taurus. All right, in a recent past, we have, um, I'm sorry, a Scorpio, right? Because you are a Taurus. You may be done with a Scorpio or a Capricorn. The devil in reverse, the seven of cups in reverse, and the seven of pentacles. In a past Taurus, I definitely feel like there was a need to become more clear on what you were investing in, the seven of pentacles. There was someone that you were dealing with, Taurus, and maybe they weren't realistic, Maybe they weren't intentional. Maybe they were giving the impression that they weren't really ready to solidify the connection. And it feels like there was some kind of even codependence. Maybe someone didn't want to let you go or you felt the need to hold on to them. But there's something that you became more clear about. Maybe with regard to your person's other options in love. There could be other people, other romantic interests with the Seven of Cups. And it feels like when you became clear that your person wasn't willing to invest in the long term with regard to you, I feel like you may have decided to cut this person out. The devil in reverse could be freeing yourself from something you know isn't for you, isn't good for you, or isn't helping you, right? There's something you may have felt chained, bound to, right, with the devil. And maybe you finally realize, right, or set your emotions aside because that seven of cups can bring a lot of illusions and confusion because of our feelings, emotions, right? Cups. Once you set your emotions aside, you were able to crystal clear see that something wasn't for you or was not worth holding on to anymore. Now, the energy right now for you guys, Taurus, we have the Knight of Swords, we have the Four of Wands. And we have the two of swords in a verse. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you're dealing with. Now, there's a lot of communication coming in with the Knight of Swords. It could be happening fairly quickly. Someone may be wanting to initiate communication. They could be coming in all stirred up and they want to speak their own truth. There's energy of speech, communication, open dialogue. And Taurus, maybe there's a decision that's going to come out of it. Maybe there's a decision regarding home, family, marriage, four wands is those things. So someone may be wanting to come in and speak truth because maybe it feels like whatever they're saying is going to bring some kind of balance, stability back to this connection or relationship. It feels like with this information coming to you, you may be having to cut something out or maybe your person wants you, again, to make a big final decision. Two of Swords can be literally letting go of something, moving away from another option or, you know, just literally moving forward, no longer being indecisive. Maybe someone has made a decision about a past situation. Now they're coming in to speak about it. And it could be definitely some communication regarding how you and your person, Taurus, can come together regarding home, family, okay? There could be something about marriage as well. Some of you are dealing with your twin flame because that four wands could definitely signify twin flame energy. Let's take a look at your person's energy a little bit deeper, whoever this person is. Ace of Pentacles, King of Wands, the Hangman in reverse, and the Queen of Swords in reverse. So Taurus, I definitely get the impression that someone has an, a big, big solid offer on their mind. They're thinking about a new opportunity, new opportunity for stability, okay, for growth, for wealth. Um, anything with the Pentacles talks about, you know, long-term investment, something of tangible nature. Now, with the Hangman, it could be a Pisces you're dealing with. Someone is looking at the connection differently. They're looking 
at it from a different perspective, different point of view. Maybe they're even coming into awareness about something here with the hangman. It feels like there's an energy of like now seeing a different side of the story or seeing a different side of the situation. Someone here could be even like looking at themselves, how they came off, okay? Um, and with the Queen of Swords in the verse, it could be, again, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. we got Leo, Sag, Aries. There is something here that I feel towards your person isn't saying, okay? They're not telling you about. Maybe there's a lack of truth pertaining to this air sign. We're going to find out more. As far as the outcome, we have the Ten of Swords. We have the Strength card, big, big Leo energy and Eight of Wands. There is moving, shuffling, maybe a new direction coming in. Eight of Wands can talk about travel, having to see each other, someone traveling to see each other across waters. But it could definitely talk about like um, online communication, texting, emailing, okay? There is communication coming in and movement, but it feels like this could be really difficult, right? The strength and the Ten of Swords could be really, really difficult, challenging communication. Something that you rather just pull away from, right? It could feel uncomfortable with the Strength card. And it could be calling you to really use your emotional, physical strength, spiritual strength, whatnot, mental strength, right? Ten of Swords, it feels like what's what's difficult and uncomfortable about this communication is that something ended and it feels a little sore still. Ten of Swords is like, this is someone that could have really betrayed you, left you for dead, abandoned you, blindsided you, right? There could be some communication regarding that or communication and effort to move past that. So my Taurus, let's jump right in. Let's see what else we can find out. What else do we need to know for my Taurus out there? We're going to start off with the death card, right? Because that is the challenge that you're being faced with. Again, a Scorpio, perhaps. Why is the death card here? Well, crossing the death is a nine of wands in reverse. So Taurus, Leo, Sag, Aries. Someone here um, caused this ending because there's an energy of someone just not doing anything about it to save it, to protect it, to fight for it. When I see the nine of wands in reverse, this is the energy of not persevering not being dedicated to the mission and kind of just giving up, right? And not fighting for something, not putting in the energy and effort to fight for something. So that's why the, the integrity, you know, the structure just fell apart. Something just wasn't able to weather the storm. It wasn't able to move forward because someone here gave up. Now, in the past, I feel that devil, devil could definitely be something that you are dealing with, could be someone that you are dealing with, okay? Um, but we also have the Knight of Wands in a verb. So maybe there was a toxic energy or someone behaving in a toxic way. This could be a fire sign. Someone in and out. Someone being just playful or playing around. Maybe very immature. But the biggest thing I'm seeing with the Knight of Wands in a verb is someone that just wasn't committed. And that's what it feels like. You know, this is someone that may have had other people, other options in love. Like to play around. Duck, duck, goose. Not really taking the connection serious because the Seven of Pentacles in a verb. They weren't really ready to make that commitment and be in it for the long term. And so Ace of Cups is here in a star. I feel like for a lot of you, Taurus, you may have held on to this person a whole lot longer than you should have. Because you may have thought that, oh yeah, we're going to heal, we're going to recover, this person's going to do better, they're my wish, right, come true, we can make this happen, Ace of Cups. You didn't want to give up on this dream of maybe having a relationship that you envisioned with this person. It feels like with the Ace of Cups is an idea that you can have that, the love, uh, the beautiful love, right? The wholesome love, the family, the the home. You believe that you can have that. And the star talks about that, hopes and wishes and desires and wanting to heal and recover from something. But I think the truth is, is that something became crystal clear, more clear about, you know, other people they were dealing with. And the devil in the verse, you may have had to release this person, even if you didn't want to do it. Now, there could be some communication coming in. Maybe it's regarding a decision you've already made. Three of Pentacles in a verse, the Fool card, and the Ace of Wands in a verse. So it definitely is a new beginning on the horizon. Um, the Fool card, Aries energy. Maybe someone is presenting a new opportunity, new beginning. It could be coming in with some risk, right? Because, well, let's face it. Maybe this is a risky person, right? The Ace of Wands in a verse does make me feel like something has stopped working, has fallen short, and now they're having to change the way they show up, the way they behave. Ace of Wands in a verse could definitely indicate that your person not really trustworthy. You can't really rely on them. They come in with excitement, but then they don't follow through on things, and that could be something you're dealing with. Now, with the Three of Pentacles in a verse, there's also maybe some communication about Maybe some differences you guys had. Maybe there was some compatibility issues or just not being able to compromise and agree on things. Three of Pentacles in a verse could signify other people that may have also interfered with the marriage, with the home, the family you guys had. There could be some communication regarding that, okay? 
And it does feel like, again, it's response to some kind of big, big decision that someone made recently. Maybe this is an Aquarius. We got the star here. We got the Aries energy with the fool. So Taurus, if you made a decision, okay, that's it. Enough is enough. I'm letting go of this person, the situation. This is someone who could be coming in in response to that decision you've made. Now, they have this new beginning on their mind, Ace of Pentacles. The Judgment in the Verse, the Ten of Wands in the Verse, and the Five of Swords. Someone is really beating themselves up. They're fighting off this decision that you made or this ending that you've experienced with them. I mean, Ace of Wands in the Verse, if someone decided to pull back and say, you know what, this is not it. I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, your person could definitely feel like, you know what, I want to fight this. That's not what I want. I almost feel like your person didn't think that it would come down to this. Ten of Wands. They didn't think that this would actually be a true ending. And with the judgment in the verse, your person could now be realizing, Taurus, that you know what? They made some really big, awful, bad decisions. Maybe a decision that they wish they hadn't made. There could be some regrets for sure. Um, the Five of Swords definitely talks about lies, right? Five of Swords, lies, argumentative energy. Um, it also could just talk about just like fighting, going back and forth, right? I feel like this is an internal fight your person has with themselves, okay? I don't think this is something you're experiencing. I almost feel like the Five of Swords with the Ten of Wands talks about the the baggage, the emotional baggage of something that they've done. Lies they've told, bad decisions they've made with the judgment in reverse. This is something your person is dealing with, but it is something you ought to know. They're not sitting well with some of the decisions that they've made. And maybe they're not recognizing it because, well, the hangman... Someone is now looking at a situation differently. They're looking at it from your perspective and your point of view. Now they're seeing the error in their ways and the wrongs, right? And maybe they're not communicating this with the Queen of Swords in a verse, but there's definitely some kind of realization. Ace of Pentacles in a verse, the world in a verse, and the Six of Swords. So the world could definitely be indicating of a karmic cycle, a cycle that they're trying to get out of, right? There's some learning, there's some big lessons that come with these cycles. Um, maybe it's a karmic cycle, perhaps. But the biggest thing is that they've lost out on something of, of value. Ace of Pentacles in the verse is missed opportunities. It's like something maybe being taken away from them. Something that could have had a lot of stability, maybe offered them security in the long run. I think they're realizing that their mistakes have really cost them a lot regarding you. And there's definitely, again, that realization coming into awareness. Okay? Big enlightenment, the world, big lessons as well. And... In terms of how they see moving forward, maybe they're not willing to communicate this just yet, but we definitely have the Six of Swords here. And one thing about the Six of Swords is moving away from conflict, moving away from any challenges, making peace with the past, making peace with you, resolving things. So someone definitely is wanting to resolve things. If they've been creating conflict, creating a lot of like social unrest or just like, you know, challenges in the connection, there's the energy of like, I want to move away from that. So there could be definitely some communication movement coming in. Eight of Wands could be happening online, social media. It could be like DMs, right? But there's communication and it feels like it's just very difficult, very challenging. Page of Wands in the verse, the tower. So yeah, this communication is definitely going to change things. Why? Because the tower always brings change, very uncomfortable, big, dramatic, traumatic change, right? And so we have the tower coming in the outcome. So it tells me that where things are right now, it's not going to stay this way. Page of Wands in a verse, it does feel like there's a, like a pulling away or someone kind of like being hesitant, being unsure if they should make a move towards you. The strength, right? There's some resistance here. But I really think in the end, this is going to be a good thing, right? As difficult as it is approaching this person or talking, engaging with this person, the tower feels like... It's going to allow something to crumble and fall down for it to be rebuilt. And maybe that's what's required here because something has come to an end and a sword, a tower feels like it's a huge culmination. So even if you have some really, really uncomfortable conversation with this person, Taurus, know that it's necessary. Know that it's inevitable. And it could be really clearing the way for big, big change to happen. Change that's going to transform this connection moving forward. Okay, so don't shy away from it. Taurus, that is what I have for you guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings. You don't want to miss out. And I'll check you guys out soon. Have a great remainder of your week. Take care.